says, Lola over here is our animal supervisor or section supervisor here within the park. And I'm the head tour guide here within the center. Looking at with the actual demonstration which we're going to be doing for you today, his name is the do's and don'ts of living here within Southern Africa. Because here within our country we do have quite a wide variety of different kinds of species of snakes in which we find here. The snakes in which we brought for you today, we do have one non-venomous species and then the rest are all of the venomous or highly venomous snake species. Here within, within Southern Africa we have approximately 171 different kinds of species of snakes. Looking at those species ranges, approximately 90% of the snakes in which we have here within our country are considered to be harmless to us as humans. Then looking within the 10% you get a grouping of snakes which is most commonly referred to as the deadly dozen. And those are basically snakes which have either caused a human fatality or have the potential to do so. Looking at the first snake in which we're going to be taking out for you today, the first one is the little brown house snake. And he's going to be helping us just with a little bit of anatomy as well as so that you guys can also have a feel of him while Zola is just bringing him around. Looking at like with your brown house snake, they are one of the most common snake species in which you would find around your urban areas. This is a fairly decent sized one here within KZN. They can get up to 1.4 yeah. meters. Typically within other regions, they just... Can I feel? You won't bite. To about 8 to 900 millimeters at about an average maximum length. Looking here within the actual yeah, brown house snake, go, go, go. like you'll notice quirky. while Zola is bringing it around, you'll notice him continuously sticking in and out his tongue out of his mouth, and that would assist with their sense of smell. Because the snake, they would use their tongue as their sense of smell. What they would do is they'd stick out their tongue, and because of the tongue being corked or split, it would allow them to pick up scent particles within the air. They would bring the tongue back into the mouth and insert it into an organ, which is situated <laughs> on the roof of the mouth, which is called the organ of Jacobson. And basically what that organ does is it analyzes the sense which is within the air, then it will send a message to the brain in exactly what the snake has been smelled. As well as with the actual oh, tongue oh, being like forked or split, it would also pick up in the direction and where the sense is coming from. And that would then lead the snake directly to where its potential prey item is. Looking at like with your brown house snakes, just some of the main ways for you to identify them. Looking from the back of the head, following along the eye line to the tip of the snout, they've got those cream or white markings which are situated on either side of the head. And that is one of the main identification markers for your brown house snakes. As well as with their coloration, they vary from a light to a dark brown in coloration. But within certain sections, such as in Kharteng, they've even found brown house snakes which are almost completely black in coloration. They've still got the cream or white underbelly, and they've still got those white markings which run along the eye line. So these guys, although they do vary considerably in terms of their coloration, varying from that light to a dark brown in coloration, here within KZN, what you do generally find along the midline of the snake, they do generally find that slightly white coloration which follows to about the midsection of their body. More specific to here within KZN as well as certain species or certain brown house snakes do have almost like a mottling which follows throughout their body which is also within that very light cream marking. So generally with your juveniles they are more prominent but you also have quite a large female which is slightly larger than this one which also has that mottling which follows right through her body all the way to her tail. So just while Zola is finishing up there, everyone can give him a very nice big round of applause.